Good morning, welcome to the BOTB headquarters in South West London. My name is William Homewatch, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge Dream Club competition at week 7, which ran from February the 15th to February the 21st. Before I do that, I'd first like to say that all the competition data has already been passed to our auditors, Walton Skemby. I'd also like to say congratulations to last week's winner, Mark Walsh from uh, Essex, my home county uh, near Colchester, won the fantastic Jaguar V6S plus £10,000. So congratulations to him and you can see us surprising you both on our website and YouTube channel. I'd now like to introduce today's judges. Our first judge today is Mr Sol Campbell. Morning Sol. Good morning. My name is Sol Campbell. I've played over 500 times for, uh, in the Premiership and 73 times uh, for England. Thank you. Great, thank you. Our second judge today is Mr Aaron Mendonca. Morning, Morning, Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Eric Mendonca. Um, I'm a referee since 2002 and I'm allocated to the Sex Sexton League and Spartan South Midlands. Thank you. Great, thanks, Eric. And our final judge today is Mr Peter Koshalek. Morning, Will. Morning. Morning, my name is Pete Koshlik. Uh, after 20 years of playing football, I took uh, the whistle in 1992. I'm currently a senior county referee, assessor and mentor, and a member of the AFE Referees Committee. Thank you. Thank you. And our solicitor overseeing proceedings today is Richard Bush from Onside Law. Morning, Richard. Morning, Will. Yeah, Richard Bush, solicitor, Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging today. Great, thank you. Okay, judges, if you could mark where you think the centre of the ball should be on the photo, please. If you could do that individually for a couple of minutes, I'll then ask you to justify that position before coming to a panel decision on the central screen. Thank you. Okay. Great, Ari. Uh, well, it's just we just have two players on this one, no spectators uh, on the surrounding area. I felt that uh, the, um, the player in orange is just in expectations uh, to see what's, what's going to happen, up, happen afterwards. The player in blue is the one who's going to head the ball. Uh, I tried to triangle the eyes of the players and I, I think the ball should be pretty much around that, uh, that spot. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. Well, there's two players, uh, orange, one in orange and one in blue and white. Obviously, there's no spectators. I've tried to use the eyes of, of both players. Um, the orange player is just a bystander, really. He's just looking on. I think the blue, the blue player is definitely going to just about to head it. I think because he's not under pressure, I don't think there's much kind of stress on his face and his arms. I think the ball is just about to hit his head and he's going to just head it away or direct it away. And that's where I've put the, uh, put my cross. Great, thank you. Okay, Peter. <clears throat> yes, I, I agree with my colleagues on the uh, two sets of eyes to actually help us there. Um, I've got a, uh, I think it's the ball's almost, almost equidistant between the two, uh, but uh, probably nearer to the blue player on the right-hand side there. Um, obviously using the eyes and the angle uh, of, of the eyes, uh, both sets of eyes are fully open, so therefore the ball's not that close to the individual players. So that's why I've chosen that spot to, to where the ball is. Okay, thank you. Right, so judges, we can now come to a panel decision on the central screen, please. Thank you. Right. Um, you have your first one. I was around that there. Yeah. I thought. A bit higher. Some marker. Yeah. So yeah, let's put the eyes on this one. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much looking this direction. Yeah. It is, but slightly higher, I think. Slightly. Get the angle there, yeah. Okay. So would you say the ball's slightly higher? Yes, than that, yeah. Okay. So, maybe... Yeah, right Okay, and if we look Let's at this guy's eyes now. Yeah. It makes sense. Maybe, uh, I don't, don't know what you think, maybe a little bit more to the left. To the left? Yeah, just yeah. slightly, there, you know. Just, yeah. I think Harry's got a similar sort of position to me. Obviously, he's, he's definitely the blue player, he's definitely yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely that, yeah. Definitely. Yes. And you can tell he's not got any stress lines too much. No, he, no. And his body's not kind of really fighting for the ball, he knows the ball's just going to... He's going to win it. Yeah. Definitely. No I, I think to the left, I think you just put it slightly right there. Over, over here, you know, where the, where the tip of the wand is there. Possibly, yeah. Try that one. Ari, you want to... Mm, you check the eyes? If you want to move it around there as well. Yeah. yeah I, 
I think even could be slightly lower, but then we can yeah, not, okay. not go Maybe. much more away because he's, he's open, so his vision it can be all around this area over here, isn't it? Yeah, but again, just looking at the angle yeah. of the eyes yeah. as well. So if I just bring it around to me a bit yeah. and see what we've got. Just a tad, tad higher and to the left, I think. To the left? Yeah, so, you know, at the, the end of the one there, yeah? Mm. Try that one. Ari, do you want to yeah, check it out from over there? Yeah. I'm sure this one. Yeah, this uh, I think it looks better, yeah? Yeah. And try go around here again. So I'm going to put it on the man's eyes. Do you think so? I think that might yeah. be pretty close to it. Yeah, mm. I think so as well. Yeah. Again, it's the angle as well. Yeah, the well, yeah, yeah. Did, and also we don't know the trajectory of the ball. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly that. Yeah. But again, yeah, what we can use is the eyes to yeah. define yeah. Yeah. what is the yeah. language as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the pick selected is 1385604. One, 1385604. Okay, just to confirm the coordinates picked by the judges there as 1385604. These coordinates will now be passed to independent auditors Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition. Perfect, so thanks everyone for playing. We look forward to surprising someone with the car of their dreams tomorrow, hopefully.